Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Chloe and I'm a creator, writer and musician. And today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be showing you what I do on Sundays and my self-care days. A lot of the time it will vary, but this is just one Sunday that I'm showing. On this particular Sunday, it was a cleaning day, which basically means that I will clean my room. But I won't do this every Sunday. I'll do this every other Sunday because that just makes more sense to me. So because this particular Sunday was a cleaning day I started pulling my bed sheets off my bed first thing after waking up to put them in the wash. After doing that I quickly checked my Google Calendar to check I was on task because I had blocked out the day the night before and yes I filmed this Sunday routine on the 19th of July. I then proceeded to dust my shelves, so I started with my longest ones because they have a lot of stuff on, especially my candle shelf. I always start with cleaning my top shelf and work my way down, and because my top shelf has all of my books on, I've never seen a reason to take them all off just to dust underneath them, when the majority of the time there won't be much there at all. After the top shelf, I moved down onto my candle shelf, and yes, I have to take them all off to dust but I don't mind because I actually quite like to clean and once I've dusted my candle shelf I will put them all back on also at this point I was on the phone to my boyfriend if you're wondering why I had my my hand up to my ear now about like five to ten i'm feeling a bit more peppy now i don't really understand because i i've only just finished doing like dusting all of my shelves i actually need to tick that off tick that off actually because this here is my master list for the weekend so i've done that that and I think that's all I've done so far now that I've done all of the dusting I do actually need to go and check on my bed sheets even though I'm not putting them back on I just want to check on them I'm gonna check on my bed sheets and also get breakfast because I feel like I really need my coffee it is now half ten I did forget to mention that my dad and my brother have actually gone on a bike ride day today i think it's something they do like every sunday now so they've gone on a bike ride and my sister is actually at work today so <laughs> at the moment it's literally just me and my mum um my mum's actually currently downstairs in the kitchen by the sounds of it so i am now going to take my shower yes it is only half 10 and I did kind of plan on having my shower, my, my shower pamper, wow. <laughs> I did ha plan on having my pamper shower between 11 and 12 because they usually take an hour long. There's a good reason for that because the, the shower doesn't actually take an hour long itself. It takes me about half an hour, then five minutes to dry all of my products off. And then I end up doing like some sort of like, a, like intensive skincare basically. And actually, while I'm on that topic, maybe I should show you the products I actually use in the shower before I head down. After my shower, I'm actually gonna like, I usually put this on straight away, like after getting out the shower. It's just a charcoal nose pore strip. Leave it on for about 15 minutes, let it harden, and then I take it off. Um, and I do this every week without fail. <laughs> Um, I love these strips so much. I also got them from work, by the way. I got this from work as well. This is just a face mask, a sheet mask, that I'm going to put on after the nose pore strip. Because, And this is just um, the Nivea Q10 Power Anti-Wrinkle and Firming 10 Minute Sheet Mask. Oh, 10 minutes, yes. I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't done any skincare for a few days and I'm really excited to just give my skin a bit of a pamper. So in the shower, the first thing we'll actually start out with is um, washing my hair. So I will use this 
um, shampoo. This is the one I'm using at the moment, but I have to admit, it's not it's definitely not like a favourite of mine. I definitely wouldn't purchase this again. And so I'll use that. I will then actually go in and like scrub my face because my face is definitely going to need need it this time. Especially this one because this one's really good. This is just other Creighton's charcoal deep cleansing scrub. You can literally get this for like 89p at Home Bargains. Then once I've done that, I'll like rinse that off and everything. You know, then go in with this body exfoliant which is just this body on demand glitter body scrub which i actually really like um i use it with a sponge the exfoliating side because it it just i like doing it that way then i wash all of that off shampoo again yes i double cleanse my hair on in my pamper showers just because that's what i like to do um, then I'll use the Creighton's Charcoal Face Wash. I will then actually go in with, oh that's quite heavy actually, um, I will then just wash my body with this. Um, this is what I'm using at the moment in my pamper showers anyway. This smells so good. I actually got this from my boyfriend's family for my birthday it smells so good it feels so nice on my skin and i'm just in love with it and then once i've done that i will actually put this hair mask on i um i am actually in love with this hair mask this is just the garnier hair food three in one hair mask, coconut and macadamia and then I will just let that sit like in my hair for like 15 minutes while I then go in with this. This is my favourite shaving gel and I will just shave my armpits and legs and then once I've done all of that, this is also a, like new um, but this is just my favourite body like in shower body moisturiser, love it so much and I think that's all I can really say about my my pamper shower. These are all the products I use. So I'm actually gonna put this in here because I, like I said, I put that on straight after getting out of the shower. And I am now actually gonna go for my shower. And yes, this vlog has actually turned into more of like a Sunday routine rather than like self care. But this is kind of like still part of like self-care because I still need to actually hoover and do like finish off my veggies. Uh, this I'm actually just going to leave on my desk there on top of my mirror and I'm now going to go for my shower and take my bre breakfast stuff down. So it is now, I think it's, it's 20 past 12 and I've now gotten out the shower. I have done my nose pore strip and my face mask. And I've kind of just been not doing anything for the past 20 minutes. Just because, just because I was... I don't really know what I was doing. Actually, I got dressed. Oh, and before, before I carry on, I'm actually going to just spray some of my um so i be the dreams uh body mist and now that i have done that i'm actually going to kind of like finish off my skincare for some reason like my, my nose is really itchy i don't think this is going to go very well um i have already used some lip scrub just because i like to use my lip scrub kind of like when i'm like treating my skin a bit more i will use a lip scrub as well so I'm <laughs> I don't know why the lighting is so bad and now I'm starting to think that maybe I should have done my serum off camera but it's fine because I'm going to go in with my balance active formula vitamin c glow and radiance uh brightening serum okay I've tried really hard to get some out and I'm just going to rub that in and while i do this <laughs> i know the angle isn't the best but we're working with it a while ago i actually i actually made a shein order 
um, of a few different things. Uh, the shorts that I'm wearing being like one of the things I got, but a lot of the stuff that I bought were too big. Like I bought them in a size that were too big for me, so I've sent them back. And at some point, I will get the money back. I don't know when. My sister said it might take a couple weeks. Um, my face is now feeling really sticky and so because of that I am going to actually place a Shein order today because I really, I would really like to just get some t-shirt dresses. I really want to get some t-shirt dresses because I think they'll be quite like versatile um, and I can wear them in the summer it's just like to you know be free and everything and then I can also like wear them in the winter with like tights uh it, well depending on how thick they are like the actual dress material that's <laughs> that's my serum oh that's all that's my serum all rubbed in um i'm now going to move on to moisturizer but i'm not entirely totally sure which moisturizer to use i'm just going to go in with my simple hydrating light moisturizer just because i don't want anything too heavy on my face because of the fact oh, i've obviously already done a face mask and the serum which usually makes my face feel quite heavy I then need to go in with my eye roll on I've been using this for so long that it's all rubbed off um, but there is still a little bit in it I've, I've had this for years and I still haven't run out okay and then I'm just gonna ow, bit my tongue uh, blend that in and now I've done that I'm literally just gonna finish off with some lip balm and I think the lip balm that I want to use oh I'm kind of torn I'm torn between using a lip oil which I do actually do sometimes um if I feel like my lips need extra treatment but I don't think I need that today um so I'm literally just going to use the this Vaseline lip balm and it's just got a soft red tint to it and that is my skincare done. So then once I had done my skincare, I moved on to cleaning my desk because it gets dirty really quickly because of how much time I spend at my desk. I spend the majority of the hours of the day at my desk uh, that I'm awake because I do everything at my desk, YouTube work, book work you name it I do it at my desk because I now have a desktop and I've had it for a while since the end of June actually and I absolutely love it but I do feel like it requires a lot of cleaning to clean my desk I actually like to wipe it down with an antibacterial wipe because the wood was painted white so I can't use furniture polish on it and then I'll go over everything with a tissue to just dry everything off And then I went ahead and put some clean bed sheets on my bed. I find this to be one of the most difficult things, cleaning my room, but for some reason I just, I don't know what it is. I, I like to do it because I like that feeling of clean sheets and like sh freshly shaven legs. Anyone else or is that just me? It is now about half two. Yes, I have now actually dried my hair and put my glasses on 
and I am now, I now finally have my lunch. It's actually just a pretty standard lunch for me, lots of fruit and savoury because I don't know what it is but I think I have a slight addiction to cheese. I love my cheese um, because I like feta, I like brie, I like normal cheese but I don't eat it as much. I also like baby bells. While I have my lunch I don't really know what I'm gonna watch. It will probably be something on Netflix, maybe something like Modern Family. Once I've had my lunch I am then gonna start kind of preparing myself for the next week. Organise myself because I feel like today I've just been, I've basically just been like trying to focus on lots of different things because like I wanted to film this video but then I also wanted to film third my third week of Camp Nano. I felt that I wanted to continue doing that but I've actually decided that I cannot focus on two vlogs at a time because this one will just end up crap then so I'm going to just focus on this vlog today and then anything I need to do for my third week vlog I will do tomorrow oh and the other thing I forgot to mention is that I have hoovered my room finally it wasn't much it was literally like five minutes but it was better than nothing because my rug now feels a lot better so now I just need to eat and then I can move on to the tasks that I need to do today it's now 10 to 4 and I feel like I yeah I am just now kind of sitting down to do some like some actual work even though I wouldn't necessarily call it work as in like YouTube stuff and like book work because I know I'm not going to get any book work done today and that generally doesn't happen on like my self care days, on like my days off. I generally won't get any writing done which is bad because I'm behind but that's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is like showing you what I do on like my days off on Sundays, how I take care of myself and I did forget to mention that I did actually put my switch on charge earlier because it was like beeping at me because it's all battery low when I turned it on and so um, I've decided to put it on charge because I do, I actually like to play games in the evening like to wind down before bed because I just feel like that sets me up really well for the next the next morning and I do actually have my Google Calendar open on my computer because I was, I was kind of just having a look at I don't know what I was looking at to be honest looking at my schedule for today actually if I click on the day I actually should have already done this and at but I'm just about to start um, about an hour later than I had planned to but that's okay that's fine because I'm not like putting too much pressure on myself to get things done I'm just kind of taking my time with things so yes I am now actually going to go through all of my YouTube folders and sort those and then I'm actually going to turn to Spotify and sort out all of my playlists because I haven't listened to any music on Spotify for a really long time. I feel like maybe that's why like I've been struggling with my mental health so much recently. Which is kind of why I'm making this video because like not everything is um, fine and dandy. Not everything is just like happy and enthusiastic. You like it's only human and it's only natural to have days where you're just like eh I didn't sleep very well. I don't feel so great. I don't feel like I'm on top of the world and I'm just having a pretty neutral day. That is today for me because I only got like four hours of sleep last night. That actually reminds me that I need to like um, actually like go through my bullet journal and update that. But I'm going to do that once I've sorted through all of my YouTube folders. 
and I'm gonna put something on in the background while I do that. While I sorted through and organised my YouTube folders, I did put a live stream on in the background, but organising through my folders didn't take long, which I was really happy about. The majority of this clip is blurry, but I think it's probably for the best, so you can't really see much of what I have for my YouTube channel and everything I use, like video clips and my branding graphics, because I think I will show that in more detail in another video in the future. Uh, so if you would like an insight into that, I'd love to know. So make sure you smash that thumbs up button to let me know. And also let me know that you enjoyed this video as well. Because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this video. Because there are just a lot of like different things that I need to do. And when like new things pop up that I have to do for a video, I, I absolutely love it. Like this voiceover, I just love that new aspect of videos so let me know what you think So I have now sorted my YouTube folders out, yes, I have done all of it and it really didn't take that long. It probably took me, I think, about 20 minutes. So that took me 20 minutes, however, sorting out my Spotify playlists I think it's going to take a bit longer and I'm going to do the same with what I did with YouTube um, folders. I'm gonna have my camera roll, uh, rolling, some b-roll. Do I have anything else I need to do today? Right, so I need to be planning out um, some video content. So I've got my video schedule for August all pulled up. I basically just, I might as well sort this video content pre-production out now, just because I know I have some notes. Um, I'm just not sure what I've got. I'm actually going to use like uh, the notes fun. I'm actually going to be using the notes function in my phone for planning out my videos, just because I find that the easiest. I used to write it down in a notebook, but now I just find it a lot easier to do it on my phone. Maybe one of the tasks I should do is like sort these notes out. Am I going to? No. So I've just sorted those notes out so I can now go to the YouTube video notes and I've got okay so that one is all planned out so this is literally all I'm doing is I'm going through the videos that I'm going to be uploading in August and I'm basically just making sure that like my main channel videos mostly are planned out because like most of the majority of my main channel videos do require planning so that's literally all I'm doing and then the top one needs planning do and I think that's probably the only one so I only need to plan out one video okay so right maybe I'll just do that now but I'm not actually gonna do like the same thing that I did with my youtube folders with my spotify like with this vlog so i was just gonna do it as b-roll but i thought maybe it would be more interesting i just thought it would be like more interesting to do it 
it's just like to show you the before and after you can kind of see down the side here that I have a lot of playlists some of them I don't even use anymore all I'm really going to be doing is going through that a little bit going through them deleting the ones that I don't listen to anymore yeah just sorting them out because that's all I really need to do so it is now actually a quarter past eight at night and I think I'm actually going to end this vlog here. You've pretty much seen what my Sundays tend to look like. I end up just spending the day kind of relaxing. Some t like every other Sunday I will clean. I don't do it every Sunday because I feel like that would be just a bit much. <laughs> my room doesn't need to be cleaned that often. Um, however, my saying that, my desk, I think, is one of those things that will need to be cleaned weekly because of how dirty it gets from food crumbs and just having like eraser marks like when I because obviously I bullet journal a lot on my desk um and I'm like rubbing things out I get a lot of like um bits of my eraser on desk so I get that on my desk as well and I think I'm now just gonna get into pyjamas and I'm going to probably play on my switch. The screen is actually incredibly dirty but actually I might not even get a chance to even play on this just because I do want to start on editing my writing weekly vlog which is probably an absolute mess. I'm an absolute mess right now. I just feel like super disorganised at the moment. I don't feel organised whatsoever and I Think. I just don't know what I'm even like what do I even do to get my shit back together I actually don't know yeah this is kind of what I have this is what my life has come to uh, this month um, I don't know how I'm going to get myself organised again I think it's the fact that just with all of the changes going on right now I feel like I'm probably doing like way too much in my life. I feel like maybe two videos was a bit much, but but there's like I feel like there's just nothing I can really do about it at the moment. I think my next vlog is going to be like trying to get back on track and just getting trying to get organized again because even though like I've got my bullet journal, trusty <laughs> bullet journal, I just Guys, I'm just a complete mess. I don't know what I'm doing and I feel like I'm having a bit of an existential crisis and I feel like that's probably why I made this video just because I wanted I wanted self-care but then I I wanted to feel like I was doing something productive and I needed video content because I'm trying to do two videos a week and then I've got family things to do as well. I've just got a lot on my mind right now and I have no clue how to like organise myself or organise my thoughts. Please tell me I'm not alone in this aspect because it's driving me crazy. I hate being disorganised completely. I... It's part of my personality to be organised. I'm very much type A. I'm also a type 5. Yeah. I don't know what that says about me. I don't know what you know about 5s. That was giving me light. You see what I mean? I feel just incredibly stressed. And I don't know what I'm doing in terms of my life. And like video content and writing wise. And I just don't know how to get myself out of this mess. Maybe what I need to do is just try and stay on top of things. But in other words, I am struggling and I'm having an existential crisis. And I don't want to say that I feel like I'm all alone in this because I know I'm probably not. But it's just like a lot to deal with. And I, I, I haven't written for days. I honestly just don't know anymore. I'm a complete mess. Someone said help. Now that I've gotten that um, mid existential crisis uh, rant over and done with, 
I am now probably just gonna get into pyjamas, do some editing, eat, cause I'm hungry. Maybe actually order the clothes that I was meant to order earlier. But I'm still technically looking at stuff, so yeah. But anyway, that is gonna be it for this video. <laughs> so it's been a mixture of like a Sunday routine, um, my self-care routine that I had this morning, um, an existential crisis. But I'm gonna hopefully try and get myself over it and I'm basically just gonna see what I can do and in the, my next vlog I will actually try and get my life back on track and that might just mean that I have to cancel a few video uploads <laughs> next month just to get back on track because I feel like I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm just overloading myself with way too much stuff to do <laughs> that is going to be the end of this vlog if you enjoyed it i mean if you even enjoyed this rant about my existential i honestly don't know what i'm saying but if you enjoyed <laughs> this mess of a vlog make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe down below and ding the bell to be notified every single time i upload when that's going to be i don't know you might want to ding the bell to just be notified when I upload because I don't know what my schedule is going to look like now. All of my social media links are going to be linked down below for you to check out along with anything else I've mentioned in this video which I don't think I have. It's time to go so <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next vlog.